Thanks for tuning in. We are doing our Union County, New Jersey edition for new homes on the market. Typically, we do this in the morning where we look up all the new houses that are hitting the market in the area. You get to surf the internet and Zillow with us, our favorite realtor, me, Marcus Shot team. We usually do it in the morning, but I had a lot of stuff to do today. So we're doing it at nighttime. So it is what it is. All right. So let's get right into it right here. Also, like and subscribe the channel if you want to see more of these. I'm going to do them every day, Monday through Friday. Let's go right here. Cranford, beautiful town. I grew up on Orange Avenue. Great town. Some of it's in a flood zone. So you got to be careful. You got different insurance premiums. It does flood by the river. This is on the south side. Yeah, you're not, this is not a problem, but if you're on the north side, you got to worry about it. So this is Cranford, $699, three bedroom, two bath, picture perfect split on a great street near local schools in downtown Cranford. Thoughtfully updated since 2012, abundance of functional closets and storage space, open concept first floor with updated kitchen, bonus walk-in pantry. Let's not get too into the words and let's look at the pictures, okay? So this is on the market. Right now, nice curb appeal, standard kind of Cranford house. You'll see a lot of these right here. Uh, really nice though, nice yard, good curb appeal, little front porch you can sit on there, look at your neighbors. Big open windows on the first floor, a little bit smaller on the second floor, not a full second floor. Roof like, looks like it's in good shape. You got a driveway, one car garage, Get these pictures this is good. You're at a corner lot right here. Play a little basketball. Enter into the living room. It's a nice little living room. Floors look like they're in good shape. Kind of boring with just like gray and black, but boring's fine when you're trying to show a house. Okay. You don't want to be too personal or have weird stuff in there when people are trying to buy your house. Depersonalize, declutter. That's how you sell the house. All right, opens up into the kitchen, got a little breakfast dining room table there. South side, word signs. You know how I feel about word signs. They sell the house. Open kitchen, you know, not a huge living room kitchen area, but perfectly fine. Kitchen's in good shape. A lot of counter space, windows. I like it. So this is a, I guess you call it like a threeplex, like a tri-level. So you got... Basement first or above ground basement, first floor, second floor. Nice kitchen. Don't have to do anything with it. Perfectly fine. More word signs. Cabernet, Sauv, Zinfandel. Can you tell? They like wine. It's also right above their, their wine holder. I think we need to get like a montage of all the word signs ruining houses. But nice. This is great. Open concept. $6.99. Big walk-in pantry. Nice. Looks like the master bedroom. Good size, good space, window on both sides. Nice bathroom. You know, I can tell this is from the 2012s, but this is fine. You don't need to touch any of this. I mean, just aesthetically if you want, but this is a really nice little house. Wonder what the actual size is. You got the kid's room, obviously, with an R. So his name probably starts with R. Computer, TV, you know, we get these second floors that aren't like full ceiling heights. Sometimes they're a little cramped, but this looks fine. More word signs. Nice room. I like it. So this goes into the backyard. Another office space. They're getting down to business here. Office, he's got a little streaming thing there. They're getting down to business. So this is fun. So this is like, this is when you come down off the... Uh, the, the first floor, more word signs, New York is my home. This is in New Jersey, not in New York, so it's really not your home. Nice little rec room, this is great. Perfect little rec room. Nice bathroom, full bathroom there with a shower stall. Separate laundry room, big yard, big, big yard. Privacy fence, there you go, is that a big yard? We'll check the uh, square footage of the, or the acreage in a little bit nice patio this is kind of typical of a house you see in cranford but you know 6.99 it's probably go pretty soon it's got nice landscaping around the sides these will grow in 
later and be nice and private, but they these are probably only a couple years old, to be honest. Nice house. I mean, doesn't look too pretty from the back, but you can spruce this up. It's a nice house. This is a nice house. Good for you. Good for you. $6.99, probably go. Probably go. Right down. We're going to stick in Cranford. I like this one. Four bedroom, four bath, $8.99. Open house on Sunday if you want to go look at it. Yeah, I like this house. I like it. Oper amazing opportunity to create your dream home. First floor includes living room, d dining room, den, enclosed porch, yada, yada, yada. Oh, oh, this, is, oh this is Westfield. Okay, so you're on the Westfield-Cranford border. Situated on the most iconic streets. Yeah, Boulevard. I mean, Westfield. My first house when I grew up was in Cranford. My second one was it, where I spent most of my life was in Westfield. Great curb appeal. Nice, nice lawn here. Just a unique house. Just I don't think they have any other photos. Yeah, no, no other photos. But eight ninety nine in Westfield for a pretty big house, four bedroom, four bath, quarter of an acre. We'll read some more, okay? Because there's no pictures. Second floor, primary bedroom, private bath, two additional bedrooms, and a full half. What's a full half bath? Private third floor includes a fourth bedroom. So that's fun. Fourth floor in the bedroom. Partially finished lower. Lower level, offers recreational room, half bath, situated on an iconic street. So where is this? So this is by Sycamore, Gary Keller. Oh, so this is great. This is great. This is right next to the high school, you know, for the kids. Just walk down the street. Oh, it's Frank. I know Frank. He sold my aunt's house. Nice guy. Sells a lot of houses. Oh, I just saw that one. So this is another Westfield house on Grove Street. Very close on the south side, close to... um. Close to the high school is right down the street from this one. Five ninety nine, three bedroom, two bath, wood burning fireplace, updated kitchen, renovated home, finished space, storage areas, spacious, renovated bathroom. Let's check it out. Nice. It's okay. You know, not a huge yard. Prime area in Westfield looks like they put in a nice little mini split over here. Roof looks like it's in good shape. Got your, oh, it's, you know, you got some privacy fencing. It's not too high. Probably have some zoning where you can't put it that high. One car garage, driveway, nice little front porch, nice little entryway, little arch, recessed lighting. You got a fireplace here. Got some radiator heat. Nice living room. This would look nice when it's furnished. Kitchen's not huge. It's a little bit outdated, but perfectly fine. Don't need to touch it at all. Got to, I love these. Window units in the wall. Little dining area. Just listen, first, stage it or don't. What is, I guess, when you're sitting, when the agent's sitting at the open house, they need somewhere to sit because sometimes you come in and they're sitting on the floor. Nice little kitchen. Bathroom's nice. Here's the mini split we were talking about. Different composite, looks like a kind of like a, some sort of composite wood floor. Second floor. Look, mini split. It's a nice house. Good size. Rate, you know, floorboard, heat. So it's probably electric. Nice room. Three bedroom, two bath for six 600 in Westfield. Pretty updated. Finished basement. You can do a lot with this right here. He pumps. This person, it probably comes with it. They pump. Okay. Nice. Well, you got the track lighting right here with this. This is a nice house. I mean, listen, the price, $6.99 in, or five, sorry, $5.99 in Westfield. That'll go. That will go. Did we do this one? We did not do this one. Did we do this one? Oh, we didn't do this one. Open house on Saturday. I thought we did this yesterday. We didn't. Homestead Terrace, 945, four bedroom, three bath. Nice curb appeal, like it's got like all different little colors. It's fun. One car garage, nicely manicured. I like this house. This has got, you know, listen, at first I was like, eh, but it's got, it's a fun house. It's attractive. It's important to have a house that when you walk up to it, you like it. Even if it's nice on the inside. Great kitchen, open kitchen, island, lots of light. Doesn't make me too many lights, but lots of lights, recessed lights, 
Lots of lights. Great kitchen, though. Open. Listen, open with the island. Another little, you know, countertop here to kind of separate it, but you can also look over it. See, see the dining room. Big open, you know, patio doors. Great layout. This is a good layout. You know, the windows are small here, but then you have the big windows going out to the patio. So, trade-off, you know? All right, kitchen. Maybe you don't like the colors. This is a good layout for the kitchen. You could... This is another thing is like, just change these lights. You can have a whole totally different feel. Oh, this looks... Look, a different angle. Feels totally different. More warm. The magic of Photoshop. Big windows here. Super cool. Great living room. Again, see, they're trying to... Great layout. We know that now. Nice separate dining room, perfect size. Got a clock right there. This is another separate formal living room over here with a fireplace. 945 in Westfield, 2,500 square feet. This will probably go too. Sunroom, this is perfect. I love sunrooms, they're like my favorite part of a house. Looks like the master bedroom, nice master bedroom. Big walk-in closet. Nice. I like this bathroom. This is this is totally fine. It looks like it hasn't been updated for a while, but this is funky. This is different. I like this. Double sink. Big tiles. I mean, I would maybe keep everything else, and if you wanted to just update it, you could just do tiles and bathtub here, and it would look much more high-end. This is a nice house. Change the color, obviously. Probably a kid's room or something. Another bedroom. Good size bedrooms. And also 2,500 square feet is a great size of a house. Like once it gets like 3,000, 3,500, 4,000, it's a big house. You got to upkeep it. And people forget about this. All right, nice ch choice in the bathroom. Nothing too bold. Nothing too boring. Perfect blend. I, mean, I don't like this that much, but it's fine. Nice bathroom. Separate laundry room with some shelving right there for your convenience. Finished basement, I love wood paneling. You can see it's too dark, but my office has wood paneling. People say it's out, I say it's in. Recessed lighting. Great, this is awesome in the backyard. I would maybe put some shutters here. But besides that, this is a great, this is a great house. This will also go. Good floor plan, let's see. Sunroom, living room. Yeah, living room, family room, garage, dining room. This is a great layout for a house. I mean, it's got a lot of separate rooms for privacy, but then you got this big open space here and then this big open space here. So this is a great house. Again, great house. Scotch Plains. Sorry, it's not Westfield. Scotch Plains. Did we do this one? No, we didn't do this one either. All right. Sure, let's do this one. Coming soon, Scotch Plains, Sunnyville Lane, 775. So just take a look at the pricing you get from Cranford to Westfield to, to uh, Scotch Plains. A little bit of, you know, it's all in the ballpark, but, you know, 235 a square foot. 0.6 acres. So you got a lot of land over here. Nice curb appeal, Scotch Plain-ish type house. This is fun. Little Asian themed entry wallpaper. My mom's an interior designer. She likes that style. It's good. Nice kitchen, too. I mean, I'm not a fan of the colors, but this is perfectly good kitchen. Good shape. Pot rack here, recessed lighting. Big stove, you know, with the hood. Big kitchen. Everyone can hang out here, cook over there. Lots of cabinets, lots of countertop. This is a great kitchen. Skylight. This is great kitchen, great kitchen, all around great kitchen. Skylight into kind of looking at the backyard, lots of light, great house. So far, I'm happy. <laughs> hey, I like what they're doing with the wallpaper. They're getting fun with it. Even wallpaper back here. Probably the master bedroom and this fun. This is interesting. This is cool. More wallpaper on the same room. This is, <laughs> this is fun. I don't know. I like this. Warming rack here. It's a bidet. This is good. Blue tile. This is just different. You know, it's like older, but they like did it their own way to make it fun. Big walk-in closet with all this shelving. You just get a lot of bang for your buck in New Jersey, eh? Compared to New York. Big, big, uh, terrible drapes, but big, big, uh, 
big bedroom, more fun wallpaper. You know what? I'm giving this, this is unconventional and a little bit older, but I'm giving this an A minus for wallpaper. And this is fun too. I've never seen this. Just, they're having fun with it. More wallpaper. You know, people have stopped using wallpaper, but now it's back in style. This isn't like the new trend of it, but this is, you know, what's old is new, right? Everything goes in a cycle. Another like living room area. Is this virtually staged? Yeah, this is virtually staged. That's why. Nice little living room. Got a fireplace over here. Cool room. Oh, baby. I like this. I don't know. Whatever. Say whatever you want. I think it's fun. I think it's cool. Shows that the owner's, owner's not boring. Fun dining room, big vaulted ceilings, windows. This is this is nice. Yeah, I like this. No, the basement's not finished, but you could easily finish this. It wouldn't be too expensive. You can just paint the floors and kind of reorganize the uh, storage space, and you could really use this a lot better. Pro you don't need insulation there. Nice entryway, double, double car garage, big lot is what you're paying for cool grandiose entrance in scotch plains nice layout cool it's a good house so i think this is the second floor yeah one two three bedrooms you this is a house also you'll stay for a long time turn that off uh nice big deck looking over your very large 0.6 acre lot it's a good house too we're going not really sometimes it's more fun to talk smack about the houses but they're not giving us much today. That's the thing is the, the market, the, the mark, people are getting ready for the spring market. So the houses are coming to the market. We did Roseau Park the other day, so we're not going to do that. This one I don't like. Let's see if we got any Berkeley Heights New Providence. We didn't do that one. All right, let's do these two because I like these better. One, two, seven, five in New Providence, Fairview. Nice setback house, great lawn. This looks photoshopped. I think it's just the light. Nice house. I put some shutters on it. Five bedroom, four bath. Nice pull up driveway. Nice entryway. Beautiful hardwood floors. Central air. Nice half bath there. Nice little first living room as you get in there. Formal dining room. Nice kitchen. I like this kitchen. It's basic, but like white. I like white kitchens. Nice, clean. You can like accent it with your own color stuff. So it's like a, like a palette. So this is a great kitchen. Open, big island, breakfast stools. Or bar stools, I can say too. You know, kind of neutral, but you can definitely spice this up a little bit. Nice kitchen. The kitchen's everything, right? If you're going to buy a big house in New Jersey, kitchen's everything. Opens up in the living room, the... The family room, fireplace, mounted TV, double exposure, lots of windows. Again, the hardwood floor is great. I love these little mud room situations on the side. It's perfect for the snow in the winter time or just have a little storage area. Nice bedroom, good size, probably looks like a full or a queen bed. Good bathroom. Great bathroom. I love the uh, full on glass shower wall. It's probably the master bedroom. Nice exposure, recessed lights, light fixture. It's a good house. Great bathroom. You know, they're not going like, they're not trying to get to, like the last house we saw with everything was like cool and crazy and unique. They're just kind of going neutral, which is good when you're trying to sell a house. Clean. This is probably done pretty recently. You know, higher end California closet situation, walk-in. Another nice bedroom. Another nice bedroom. So five beds, five real bedrooms. Maybe they use one of these as a nice home office. Not as much window over here. That's fine. Another night. This is a good house. What is this? Yeah, that makes sense. One, two, seven, five. It's a great house. Excellent laundry room. Excellent exposure. You'll be happy with this house. Finished basement. There's a lot of room here. It's a good house. Look at this. Detached garage. You know, the lot is kind of narrow, but I mean, the bigger, sometimes, listen, if you want to have a lot of space, great, but then you got to take care of it. Nice garage, great house. Yeah, whoever buys this will be happy. Yeah, this is a great house. That's all I got to say. Not giving us much. That's great. When the springtime comes around, 
You get nicer houses. All right, we're going to finish up. Maybe I see that one in Mountainside. $6.99, three bedroom, two bath. What's up, weenie? You just annoyed because I'm not playing with you? My dog wants me to play with her. Moving ready. Completely remodeled three bedroom. Let's get into it. I don't want to go too long with these streams. I feel like sometimes they go too long. Three bedroom, two bath, $700,000, $699,000. Call it seven. Nice little basic house. Split level with the basement uh, garage over there. Should have cleaned this up a little bit, but that's fine. Nice open concept. I like the light fixtures, recessed light. We're getting good kitchens today. Yeah, nice dining room area right off the kitchen. You still have the bar stool area, wine rack. Nice big stove. Yeah, it's definitely like a six burner, maybe even an eight burner. One, two, I can't tell. One, two, th three, eight. No, it's a seven burner stove, so that's great. Nice wood floors throughout. They kind of took it on a dark day, so it probably doesn't do it justice. Probably got better light than it's showing right now. So everything looks in good condition. Nice space. I like this bathroom. You got the sh oh, you got the shower stalls, little storage. This is probably mechanicals back here, actually. No, that's probably storage. Nice choice of vanity, modern, sleek. Probably recently updated. Nice bedroom, not too much. Little office. All right, what is that? This is like a picture of the toilet paper. But they have the built-in mechanicals for the toilet back there. People like that. It's like a lot of the newer houses have it. Huge huge like wet room slash laundry room over here with an extra refrigerator for storage nice back wind back yard needs this doesn't look great not great but it's fine inside of the house is nice doesn't have a lot of curb appeal but the inside of the house is nice finished basement look at i don't know what's going on over there but I mean, it looks fine but this might be some sort of water issues Looks fine. It's in good shape. You have seen much worse basements, believe me. All right, let's see this last. Do I want to see this last one? What is this? Nah, I don't care about that one. I don't care about that one. And we're done here. 